Everybody knows that Santa Claus is actually an RVer because him and his old lady in the off season, they go down to Arizona. And what they do is they, they bounce around between Yuma, Lake Havasu, Bullhead City, maybe hit Vegas, hit the craps table. And, uh, you know, when Santa Claus is uh, actually working, when he's on the clock on Christmas Eve and he's flying around, you know, you can leave some cookies up for him and he will actually eat them. But Santa Claus will never use your bathroom because he's got the pimp ass red sleigh that flies through the air. And he's got a gray and white black water tank with a Fort Burner stove two-door fridge, he's got some cool beers, he's got, uh, you know, muchas cervezas. Well, thank you, tubers, for joining in. And welcome to my bedroom. This is my short queen bed up in the top part of my Class C RV. This is where I sleep. It's uh, actually quite spacious. You could be even quite tall and you'd still have a lot of room. Um, it's been an interesting week. Uh, <laughs> I got a, a bit of a gruesome story to tell you about uh, my live catch mouse trap. You know, it's one of those things that no good deed goes unpunished. Uh, when I moved here into my RV you know, months ago, I bought a live catch mouse trap. Never caught anything. I put peanut butter in it, which they say is what you should do. Well, a couple days ago, I, I hadn't been checking it daily anymore because I wasn't catching anything. Finally, I looked at it and it, it had moved. And I found a live mouse and two dead ones. And because I wasn't checking it daily, it looks like a little bit of cannibalism was going on. <laughs> so I felt really sorry for the mouse that was still alive. So we went for a walk and I let him go. And he, uh, when I opened the door, he's like looking at me like, really, you're letting me out? <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't come back. Um, so I get home tonight and I guess the smell of all the mice inside there <laughs> that have died. Of course, I got rid of the carcasses. It's quite kind of gross. I was going to take a picture, but I figured, no, this is just so bad for YouTube. The uh, the chewed up remains of even little mice. It's just, it's bad. It's it's ghoulish. So uh, I won't even do that. But I will, I have a picture of the mouse that I did catch tonight. And uh, he's going to fester in the trap tonight because I don't feel like going for a walk now because it's quite late. So I'm going to let him out in the morning. It's a bit warmer and he has a chance to find a place to hide. But uh, that's the latest really weird thing that's going on. I guess with the change of weather, even though we actually had the coldest weather a couple of weeks ago, but uh, it is, you know, almost winter solstice. So I guess all the little vermin are running around looking for food and a place to um, hide for the, for the uh, winter, I guess. But they ain't going to hide in my RV, that's for sure. Because if I get any sign of mice in my RV, I'm moving to the kill traps in my RV. Now this live catch trap is actually outside in the back of my RV near my where my uh, sewer line is. Um, so far, so good. Well, we're going to cut it a bit short this week. And Feliz Navidad and thank you.